Marcus Coney will come up. Marcus Coney going to be the first one in here. By the way, it looks like he has taken one of the Hard Rock Hotel towels to walk out with <laughs> as well. Very interesting choice there. Good morning. <laughs> It is a bit cold here in Daytona. He may have just gotten out of the shower. He may have ran upstairs to take a shower, thinking that we would not already be to his fight as we have raced through these early fights here so far. Marcus Coney, two, two and one so far in his career. And we'll be looking to continue what's been a solid career for him so far. At age 30, and now Stevie. The answer, Massey. Of course, you guys know the name. He was on the first card that we did for Christy Martin back yes. in August of 27, uh, uh, August 17th of 2019. And uh, really aggressive fighter and a guy that uh, I think we are all kind of excited to see. I told you last night when we were talking to Avril that it would be a quick fight. I'm going to stick to that. Stevie is very aggressive, and I think he's going to be able to show that here tonight. So could be... Quick one for Stevie. He sure hopes so. He steps in. And he definitely looks more confident of the two. More comfortable in the ring. Very confident. Ten wins in his career, nine of them by knockout. So he does he's gotten in there, doesn't mess around. Last fight was a TKO first round win over. Quante Mitchell, a fight that heading into it, we thought was going to be a good test for him. Quante Mitchell was a guy that had yet to be knocked out in his career. That did not last very long. So Stevie is used to facing these types of opponents. All right, here we go. This is four rounds in the featherweight division. First, let me introduce you. Fighting out of the blue corner. Weighing in at 128.8 pounds. He's wearing black trunks trimmed in white. From Huntington, West Virginia. His record, two wins, one loss, two draws. Please welcome Marcos Strictly Business Coney. Two, two, and one, one KO. Let me introduce you, fighting great. out of the red corner. He is wearing the maroon trunks trimmed in black and white. He weighed in at 128 pounds. Coming to us from Charlotte, North Carolina. His professional ring record, 10 wins against only one loss. Please welcome Stevie the Answer Massey. Is that snake skin on his shorts? I believe so. Uh, he, he has come out with some very interesting trunks. Usually they are covered in what appears to be some sort of fur. Division. So this is a little wow. bit different. I guess in Florida you want to go with uh, a, a little bit of a different look. And so, here, yes, right? he will go with the what appears <laughs> to be kidding. snake skin. Don't know how that compares to the velvet, but I'm kind of with you. Although I don't think at this point, look, I'm embarrassed if my pants fall down. These guys, I think, would just continue fighting. I'm not really sure. <laughs> But yes, those must be a little bit heavy. But here we go, yeah, round yeah. number one. I got back here, I gotta get my paper. Four. Go, Billy. Between Stevie Massey, Marcus Coney. Aggressive start from Massey. Yeah. Stocking. I told you, I promised you. I promised you he would be aggressive. We've seen it every fight from him. He's doing it again, again, looking for his 10th knockout in 12 career fights. But patient aggression, I like it. He's not rushing in. Picking his shots. Exactly. Good. Good eye contact. I like that. Mm -hmm. He's moving. He's picking. Really working that jab. Trying to set something up. Still feeling each other out. And so far, not quite the 
most aggressive start we've seen here tonight. Again, that still goes to Armal Hadrabiej and, and Donia Crosby, which we figured that. That's how Armal <laughs> likes to come out, very aggressive. They came out swinging. And here we go. This is the thing that Stevie does, though. Once that first shot can get in, he'll start working it. And Coney's got to be careful. Well, you know, the first one, you're trying to find that, that distance, which is very important. It's one of the things for Coney. Got a little bit of reach on him. So yeah, again, definitely, definitely got those long arms. Right. And that's something that haven't really seen a lot of Stevie. from Stevie in terms of opponents that he's faced. So could be interesting here. Again, still trying to feel him out, not getting overly aggressive. I think that's what he's having a little bit of a hard time trying to find that distance because he's so tall and slinky. Oh, see that? Good head movement. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Coney goes down, yeah, Frank Gentile going to say no, no. No, that was just a slip. Final 30 oh. seconds of round one. Massey's got him backed into the ropes. I like how he's keeping it, him. He needs to cut ropes. him off, though, and keep him on the ropes. He sort of lets him out of the corner. Did a good job to get himself off the ropes, but now back nice. on. Now, oh, there we go. Got the right in there. Stevie got the left in there. Now, just going to work. Very aggressive at the end of the round here. As they'll tie it up. He's stealing that round. Yeah, he sure did. And he, had, he had some great head movement in between that combo there. Throwing punches, moving his head exactly as much as he needed to, and then coming back with more strong punches. That's pretty much exactly what Stevie's game plan is. That first time that he can get a shot in and it lands, all of a sudden he turns up the heat. They did it right there. Got that combination in there. That worked wonders. And now we'll see how aggressive he'll be coming out in round two. Again, wait, only one of his fights even the loss was a knockout loss for him. So only one fight in his career has gone the distance. He definitely got power. He does. One of those guys that can make you pay very quickly. As both sides look ready. Right. We're set for round two. And round number two. Very exciting last round. Let's see if this uh, adds up to it. It is underway. In the Hard Rock Hotel in Daytona Beach, Florida. Christy Martin from Fight Night. Battle at the Beach 2. Here live on Payne Boxing TV. The nice, the, this has been some very competitive fights. I like the fights tonight. They got quick, but they were very competitive. See the right jab now looking to get a little more aggressive. Ooh, almost Coney out of the ring his, there. Coney using his distance well this round so far. <laughs> Trying to stay away from Stevie's power. Getting some coaching from behind us. That's Lisa Halloween giving her analysis of what Stevie Massey should do. There it is. Stevie again, they get locked up. You gotta step in there, Stevie. Gets the warning on the headbutt. And you can tell Stevie a little thrown off by the length Coming of Coney so there. far. Now. A couple of jabs starting to land in there. Oh. Good, good. Let's go. Feel it out. Now Stevie I'm gonna try to ramp it up just a little bit. He's looking for that clean shot. Also just have not seen a lot in terms of attacking from Marcus Coney so far. 
Stevie really dictating the pace here so far. Stevie's moving really well, so it's uh, hard for Coney to land those shots. He's throwing a few jabs, but it's just hard for him to land them. They're definitely picking the shots. Final 30 seconds here in round two. And this is right where it picked up in round one. Let's see if it'll do the same here. Now Oconee going after him here. Good job by Stevie. Dodging a lot of those. Ten seconds. That is the end of round two. So again, not a ton of action, but Stevie effective with the punches that he's thrown. Clean shot. You see is Marcus Coney's corner. Him up. Coney, too far still. Still hanging around in this one. Of course, Stevie, his dad, his head trainer, giving him some tips here in between rounds. With him and his dad traveling from Charlotte, North Carolina. Again, one of the headliners usually on Christy Martin's card. Did not travel with her back in November down here, but now gets... This chance to be on the card here in February. Round three, and here we go. So, uh, so far, I've seen Stevie winning both rounds. Me too. I would agree with that as well. Hit there. Yeah. Massey seems Massey. to have a lot more intention with his punches. Tony trying to take the fight to him here just a little bit, though. Nice. Both guys, again, oh. really aggressive, but a good left Snap there. His head back. That height is giving him us some, some trouble, but he's still overcoming it. Both guys, neither one really being the aggressor here so far. Both really looking for what it, what it looks like the other to make a mistake and, and, and slip in a counter yeah, and to make a pass. Yep. Lock up again. That was a good call. Oh. They'll get separated, though. And again, we've seen it so far. All three of the referees kind of letting the guys lock up. As long as they separate quickly, they're kind of letting it go. As Coney snuck a little Good bit of a right in there. there. Yeah. As long Tell as there's a free two. hand, they'll let you fight. Which Stevie, is nice. you got to go to work. Right. You got to go to work. Yes. You're Lisa Halloween you go asking work, Stevie baby. to pick it up here. Get that right hand in there and it's missed. If that lands though, that that could be the fight. Yeah. I think half the reason it's not landing is because he's not stepping his feet in when he throws the punch. Come forward, come forward, come so forward. all Coney has to do is take a little half a step back and it misses, but then uh, Massey's thrown off balance. And again, I think that has to do with the length of, of Coney and just something that Stevie hasn't seen yet. Yeah, if Massey just stepped in with these punches, he could throw a combo instead of just one punch. And he might not get in with the first, but he'd definitely get in with one of the second or third. It's good not defense, though. Both guys, both guys so far doing a really good job. Probably the best defensive fight that we've seen in the night for, for sure. For sure. <laughs> oh, there we, there go. we go. Got, the, got one of his counters in there. Left in there, 10 seconds in the round. You got, you got to come in behind that jab and that's your shot. And that's, that's it. Shot. 
three rounds in, and this is. Uh, I still Stevie because he's more, more aggressive. I, I think so too. The only thing I, I like to see it because he's, he doesn't have the advantage of the reach. He needs to come at an angle more. Instead of being in the front, if he's in the front, he, uh, Cody's always going to have that, that advantage. If he comes in an angle, he'll take away that, that distance. Kearney's also think. throwing out a lot of lazy jabs. And uh, it makes, if Massey just picks one of those jabs and times him and comes in on that lazy jab, if he moves in with his feet, he could get a combo off there and a counter. I feel like you're spot on with that. I, I, I agree with that. And I think you're right. That, again, it goes back to the footwork. If he steps in, like you said, I mean, I mean he's, he's got the capabilities of, of throwing those hands quick. If he can step in there, land two or three real quick and get out of there, that'll start to wear down Coney. Now here we are in the fourth round, though. So this is the longest fight of the night so far and the one that has the best <laughs> chance here so far of going to decision. I'm very exciting. How about it? Now number four underway. Final fight of what appears to be the first half of the show here on the Hard Rock Hotel in beautiful Daytona Beach, Florida. It's beautiful outside today. It was very nice. Definitely better than the I'm Charlotte weather thinking. of, no. well, that's right. I think they're both very aware that this is the fourth round. There's a lot more you know, uh, you know higher go. pace in this the, round from both fighters. Where are the other two? Where are the other two? And for Coney, I think he's got a sense as well that even yeah. though neither one has been overly aggressive, he's down in the match so far. And so you can see his aggressiveness picking up a little bit. I mean, he's in the fight, but he's behind. And again, it only takes that Ooh, one right shot. That? Oh. That's what Stevie's got to do. He's got to beat him to the punch. Now well, you can see it starting to get a little more aggressive here in this final round. Ooh, Ooh got that left in there. Now got him up against the ropes. Tony looks like he's starting to, uh, oh, sorry, Massey looks like he's starting to land a lot more of his counter shots this round. Gotta separate. As he goes back to work. Right there, there it is. There. Oh, oh. oh, did have a. Ah, there's a push down. Okay. Yeah, no He's knock ready down to go. Here. He's ready to go. So, he saw a slip <laughs> earlier. Stevie got to beat him to the punch because he's got he's got disadvantage of the reach. Why you keep looking so at it? So he's got to be fa yeah faster. Did get. The left There's one the of those mind. lazy jabs, yeah. and he did counter, but he should have counted with more than one. Yeah. Two jabs. So he's fine, trying to find that distance. I wonder if, at the, especially here in the fourth right one. There, right there. there we go. There we go. Good combo. More from aggressiveness. Massey. See, when Stevie is smothering, it takes away Coney's distance, his advantage. Beautiful. That's a nice uppercut. Yeah, that was nice work. Final 30 seconds. Well, it looks like this fight is going to distance. Fight. Yes, it will. Uh, honestly, a little shocked by that. Thought good head movement from Massey. I mean, you got to give it to Coney. I mean, he's got that, that, that reach. It was very hard to, to find. He made that fight very difficult for, for Stevie. Ooh. Stevie wanted to try to get something here late. 30 seconds. This fight is going the distance. Last 10 seconds, guys are locked up. That takes a little bit of time to separate them. Coney tried to get one more right in there, a little bit of a headlock, right. and that's it. It's on the books. So the there we go. Fun to go the distance. We have been waiting for one all night. And so yeah, that one, the complete opposite of what we saw from Anthony Ortiz with the eight second knockdown. <laughs> so that one goes to decision. Very good one. You want to keep forever. Thank you. Bruce Foster telling everyone they can get a free Christy Martin signed t shirt. Interesting. So let's take a look at this replay right here.
Stevie. Oh, there you go. Good job. I that was more of a push. The roof, and now I agree with that. Now. Oh, there we this go. This was the moment in that first round where you thought got not the right balance, then catches him with a right. But you got to hand it to Coney. Rebounded very nicely. Very nice, yeah. Did get saved a little bit by the bell there, but after that point, you never really felt like there was a moment where he was in trouble. Not quite like that moment. That's correct. Like I said, Coney was in the fight, but not winning the fight. And that's, you know, look at that. It's like. Here's they're looking for Bruce Foster. He's probably taking a holiday, so he wasn't going to have to do any announcing tonight. I think he's shocked <laughs> by the fact that this one actually went the distance. Yeah. <laughs> and has stepped away. We don't have a problem as we have our announcer. <laughs> we can tell you exactly what happened, but Bruce Foster is the man we are looking for here. Well, they may hand you the microphone. Hey, you never know here. I'm not sure what. Make the announcement, Davey. Just happened. Let me clear my throat here. <laughs> I can do that. Well, back to the fight. I think Stevie did very well. Good, good learning performance for him. I think Coney gave him a, a very good fight, a good competitive fight. Like I said, I think Coney was in the fight, was never winning the fight. I think both guys will take away a lot from this fight and learn a lot and take it uh, back to their back, back to their to gyms and yeah they'll they'll look at the fight and they'll grow a lot from this fight for sure yeah I think this is one I, I you know Coney I know will, will take a lot away from this I think this will be interesting when you talk to Stevie the next time that he'll appear on a card here which seems pretty much inevitable uh, I, I think that honestly I, you know, this is one where he'll look back and say, okay, I can learn a lot about guys with the long reach because if he's going to take that next step, he's going to see fighters like this. Guys like this are now going to want to face him because they know that the length can affect him a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see how he's able to adjust to that here. This is a very good lesson for Stevie. He needs to go back to the gym and, and start working, working with taller guys and learn how to master that height, overcome it. But angle. I agree with that 100%. And also the timing, just picking the timing right and using his feet to step in at the right moment. And still waiting on, oh, Bruce Foster is over on the side here. Not really sure what's going on. Now I think he's heading back towards the ring. Now they had a little hard time trying to figure out that who, who the winner was. Yeah, it could have been a close fight. Oh, of course, this is the first time we've actually had to go to the scorecards. They would have had to take a bit of time adding them up. I know. <laughs> That's why it's taken a minute. You know, as close as I've been to, uh, to Australia is in Thailand. That's my next trip. Oh, yeah? Oh, beautiful country, Thailand. Both fighters look like they think they did enough. Yeah, we, we think without a doubt Stevie has the win, but I want to hear what the judge Bruce Foster's gonna tell us right here. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to the judges' scorecards. We have a unanimous decision. Judge number one scores it 40-36. Judge number two scores it 39-37. Judge number three scores it 40 to 36. Your winner by unanimous decision, decision, fighting out of the red corner, Stevie, the answer, Messi. And I think ultimately the right decision. I'm actually somewhat intrigued by the one judge that gave a round to Coney there. I'm not sure which one that would be.